The skulls by Ivan Turgenev, the sumptuous, brilliantly lighted hall, a number of ladies and gentlemen. All the faces are animated, the talk is lively, a noisy conversation is being carried on about a famous singer. We call a divine, immortal, oh how finally yesterday she rendered her last thrill. And suddenly, as by the wraith of an enchanter's wand from every head and from every face, slipped of a delicate covering of skin and instantaneously exposed the deadly whiteness of skulls, the fear and wear the leaden shimmer of bare jaws and gums. With horror I beheld the movement of those jaws and gums, returning the glistening in the light of the lamps and candles, of those lumpy bony balls, and rolling in them of other smaller balls, the balls of the meaningless eyes. I dared not touch my own face, dared not glance at myself in the glass. The skulls turned from side to side as before, and with a former noise peeping like a little red rex out of a grinning teeth, rapid hums lisped how marvelously, how inimitable the immortal, as immortal a singer had rendered at last thrill.